miles away, moving at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Uh, it's going to be here before you know it, and we'll see how our weather certainly reacts to that. We're holy. Yeah, we're definitely in a hurricane eye wall at this point, uh, Doc. I, I'm, you know, I got the bracing down here with one leg in the back, one in the front, uh, trying to parallel the wind. Uh, to me and coming, have it coming across me. Yeah, this is, uh, I, I just had to get down. I just had to get down for a second. Doc, uh, at least, at least give me a landfall while I'm out here getting hammered. National oh. Hurricane Center has officially called it? landfall. And the power outages continue to mount with ECEOS as we are taking this northern and eastern eye wall. Uh, pretty tough here at Riceville Beach in North Carolina. Uh, I don't think uh, people were planning on, on these kind of winds, which uh, I'm going to say have been over 80 miles per hour here where I'm standing. Unfortunately, many have lost power. Wrightsville Beach, which is where I am tonight, uh, now up through Sneeds Ferry, Surf City, Topsail, all these areas getting hammered with this eastern eye wall. And unfortunately, with a center that is west of us, we are still in some of this energy. You know, they say old fronts never die, and unfortunately, when they flare up again before a tropical system, they're really bad news.